What up, folks? Welcome back to UltraZilla Toys. This is a vlogzilla, and I just wanted to talk a little bit um, before I start on any more reviews for the week, on you know, or for whenever. I, I I stopped looking at reviews as like a weekly thing, you know, because for a while I was doing like, okay, I'm gonna do this day to this day, and then take a break on this day. You know, it's so hard. Uh, to do scheduling, in, in my opinion, uh, with these, because there's always something new that's coming in and it pushes things off, um, you know? So it's like, it is what it is. That's how I build up so much stuff. I mean, also, because I buy too much. Um, but it, it's tough, so, you know, the week, you know, uh, doing reviews for the week, it's kind of out the window. It's just like, I do reviews and I put them up, you know, for the morning slot, which is, you know, which I got back to this morning, and I will definitely have something up for tomorrow. Obviously, this video is going to go up right away, so it's not in the 7 p.m. EST slot that it is night, because it's past 7 p.m. I don't know what time it is. It's got to be in the 9 o'clock hour right now. And yes, I'm drinking some coffee, some not-so-good coffee, honestly. Um, and we actually threw away these beans. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I'm not going to talk bad about it, so I'm not going to tell you what, you know, beans they are. And this is not a coffee review channel, <laughs> is it? Although I could probably start one easily. Um, but, oh, and I forgot to put in my mic, so apologies if this is a little low or what. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> and sometimes with these vlogs, I don't do that anyway. Um, especially like the driving ones, I want to, is what it is. Um, but yeah, you know, like we did Voltron, and I also got a little bit of a little haul, uh, to, you know, to show you guys, um, and you probably saw something at least in a thumbnail, I don't know what that is yet. Uh, I, I stopped by with Ultrazol Jr. earlier at GameStop, and I picked up a few things, so we'll look at that in a, a little bit. But... I want to talk about Voltron and all that stuff, um, give a couple of shout outs, you know, and, um, you know, like, it just, you know, to some well-deserving, like, groups. Hey folks, uh, just cutting in here, uh, I already put up my video and then I realized that I never gave the proper shout outs and I was gonna, I, I went on a tangent and that's what happens with these train of thought videos. Um, so quick shout out, what I was gonna say is, you know, like you, this certain groups that think you are just there to steal their folks and there's certain groups that are really, really cool about it. And there's a lot of those really cool ones. And just to name a few action figure junkies, um, and, uh, you know, action figure addicts, Transformers addicts, Hall of Chogokin, Ch Chogokin Toys, uh, all about figures, like, so many cool folks with their, obviously, like, super articulated kaiju, kaiju collectors group, like, that's like one of my homes, you know, like, um, so many really great groups out there on Facebook that are really cool. I appreciate all of you guys um, for letting me post on your, you know, Godzilla groups, all the Godzilla groups. So many cool people, like, uh, outside of, like, Facebook as well. TFW2005 and, uh, who else off the top of my head? Robot Japan. Some, like, really great, great forums and groups out there. So, shout out to you guys. Thank you for allowing me to post on your forums and stuff. Let me have my links. You know, we're all in this together, you know. Um, I am always happy to share stuff uh, and give the proper, you know, credits and stuff. So, I'm not in this for me only, you know. Like, this is a community first and foremost, and I just wanted to say thank you. If you... If you if you do reviews, you know, and you're trying to spread the word, one thing you could do is post in face group, Facebook groups and, like, forums elsewhere, you know. There's a lot of, like, websites to have, like, video review forums or just, you know, just forums about subjects. And you can post reviews on them. But not everybody is 
likes it, you know, like, everybody thinks you're just trying to steal their people away, and it's like, guys, how else are you supposed to spread the word to people that are of like interest? It's so hard, you know, like, this is tough. This is really, really tough, you know, like, I, I've been doing this for a little bit over two years now. I've documented this this summer plenty of times with a lot of different increment, you know, things that ha has happened. And it's just, it's a tough business, you know, like, um, to get into. And it is kind of a business, guys. Like, you gotta think about it in those terms um, at some point. You know, like, I mean, me personally, I'm crazy. So I think about these things, like, early on and, like, trying to, like, build. Um, because I like doing it. I really do like doing it. It's something that it works well for what I do normally. Like, I'm in the comic book biz, and I feel like toys and comics go together really well. I've documented this many times. I have some plans for the meshing of stuff with Ultrazilla, like, down the line. And, um, you know, like, it's, for me, I need to take it seriously because I do buy a lot and I have to justify it somehow, you know. Granted, like, I've documented in the last couple of Vlogzillas, like, YouTube is kind of broken, <laughs> you know, like, and I found out that they actually um, only show a certain percentage of your subscribers, you know, they alert only a certain percentage and that's you know they say it's it's better and it's not better it can't possibly be better um you know you want your subs they your subs sub to you for a reason and youtube is not letting you all know that i have videos up and i have a lot of videos up you know so maybe you know in the long run it is better i've said this before i don't want to be too annoying but then again, I love doing this, so it's like, you know, I've gone back and forth with that. I've put out more videos, and i put out less videos, and then put out more videos again. It's all, I think it's always going to be an ebb and flow with me anyway, just because that's how things go. Um, you know, sometimes I can put out more, and sometimes I can't. But, uh, you know, like, I hope, you know, this past week you enjoyed it. I, I kind of, like, it started out like I was doing both reviews and... Um, you know, the speed builds for the Voltron, Lego Voltron, but then I couldn't do it. You know, like, uh, I had work, I had real work to do, and, you know, I had to get that stuff done. So, you know, like, that was really important to, to get done, so, had to do it, and, I uh, but I was able to finish off my Voltron this weekend, very happy about that, you know, finally reviewed it last night, you guys saw it this morning, hope you enjoyed the review, it's a long one, but it's not like... You know, like, when I, you know, I've had way longer, um, not, like, way, way longer, but, uh, you know, it was enjoyable, uh, to do because it's a cool piece, and I hope a lot of people get to, to see that video, but, like, we're in a weird state with, uh, YouTube, like I'm saying, you know, so it's like, I'll mention this again, and please forgive me, you know, because I sound like a broken record, you know, click, you know, if you haven't heard me say this, great, um, you know, click the bell icon so you could be notified for sure that my videos are going up, um, you know, they're trying to steer more people to click that bell, I guess, I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know what the reason is, uh, otherwise, I mean, there's other reasons you can talk about, but I don't know, I'm not gonna speculate, you know, like, it is what it is, uh, I'm here, I'm doing it, uh, and I just, I want you guys to watch, you know, I want you guys to see it, because, again, it is, it, it helps going forward, and being able to do more things, and get more things, and talk about more things, and whatnot, if you want to help me in any way, though, click that bell and, you know, watch, and, uh, and if you want to help me even more, like, check out my eBay page, link is down below, always down below, uh, and get yourself something, you know, only if you want, of course, like, don't get yourself something you don't want, <laughs> I'm not asking anybody to do that, um, but, you know, if you get something, that helps me out, because any money I make from eBay, I put into here, because it's toys feeding the toys, you know, like, that's what I'm just trying to do, more of, uh, of course, the last 
like week or so, I haven't been able to get down to the studio much. I've actually worked mostly in the apartment because it was super, super hot. I don't have AC down here, uh, which sucks. Um, but it's really hard to install AC in this particular basement, the way it's set up. And, uh, you know, I had a fan, I had like another like air unit thing that's just not working. And I was like, I couldn't even concentrate last week. And then I had a, a cicada that got stuck in here somewhere and it was noisy and I couldn't find it. And I had to leave. <laughs> it finally flew out. I saw it fly out like uh, over the weekend. Uh, it's pretty funny. Um, I opened the door and I was like, Phew. so that's fun. Uh, but, you know, um, I came back down here uh, to film a Voltron review last night. That took a long time, as you can imagine. Uh, the rendering took forever and then um, you know you know I'm back here now I wasn't in the studio all day today uh, I've done a lot of my I was here I also work here um, last night but I've done most of my work in the apartment uh, for the last week so that's another reason why I you know uh, it was good because I did have a lot of work to get through and um, you know like I wasn't I didn't try to cram in reviews just because I was here as well. So the speed builds were just like a breather. Um, you know, I did a lot of work and then I just like was on the couch and I was, you know, speed build something. It wasn't, I wasn't going that fast. It took a while to do, to put together that Voltron. I don't know how many hours exactly, but it took a long time. Uh, I enjoyed it though. Again, like it was really cool and there's like some really cool mods you could do with it. So it's, it's fun and it's, I think it's going to be constantly something to tinker with. Um, it makes me want to do more Voltron reviews. I do have a lot of Voltron reviews yet to do. Um, you know, I mean, there's stuff that I've never reviewed before. Like even this guy who I showed in that video, it's one of the trend masters. It's the plastic, the old plastic trend masters one. Um, I can't remember if this was complete, complete. I forgot how I got this, if I got this. I think I got this used. I think this was one of my eBay Voltrons that I got and then like I replaced one of the lions and stuff. So, um, yeah, like, I, you know, but the other Trend Masters one, the Diecast one, which you saw the black lion of, that black lion's been like hanging around my desk for a while. The rest I've never even unboxed. So, so much I could do with Voltron still, you know, the Toy Nami, um, the two little Toy Nami ones have never reviewed those so you know i definitely want to work in more voltron because voltron is huge with me so definitely got to get back on the voltron you know got to get back uh got to get more into the super robots i love super robots and i have a lot to unbox i have a, a bunch that i like unbox and kind of just left to the side like a lot of uh, some of the latest super robot choking from the last like six to eight months still unreviewed and some SOC stuff that I've yet to review. Gotta work that stuff in. Gotta. You know, and gotta work in the, you know, more Transformers and just everything that I've done, like, gotten, like, all the Marvel Legends stuff, you know. Um, so I gotta be pick and choose and, you know, m you know, mix and match. Like I said, I, I, I have so much stuff to review, it doesn't really matter, like, what I pick as long as I, I keep going. But... You know, I'm also, I don't care, and I, I mention this all the time, I don't care about, like, um, like, co being competitive with anyone, like, that doesn't bother me at all, like, uh, I'm not a, I have to be first on anything, <laughs> you know, so, that's a good way to be, because I see a lot of folks just, like, um, you know, and I'm, you know, just kind of, like, they always mention that stuff, and, uh, like, it's something that seems like it bothers people, you know, and like once they have something for a while, they don't even want to review it because I guess like, you know, the reviews want to be so good or they're just not interested anymore. I don't know, you know, like um, for me, the views is not, is not a factor right now because most of my views are low anyway. So it's like, I'm just going to review what I like and whatever I want. You know, it's what, how I've been from the beginning, and, you know, it's, I think it's a good way to, to be because you, you shouldn't care about anybody else. Just worry about yourself. Worry about yourself and what you do and how you do it. Don't worry about what, like, the person next to you is doing. You're like, you can't. You can't do it. It's just, you know, it puts you in a bad space, I think. 
Uh, I don't want to compete with anyone, and I don't want to run around crazy like, like buying like, like, like stuff that's gonna be around. Uh, and if you're patient, you know, like I'm not gonna go out and get like I I say this a million times. I don't pay for more for Marvel Legends, and I don't pay more for Star Wars Black Series, and like any of like the domestic brands. Just I don't do it. I don't go out of my way to get them. Uh, once I get them, I get them, you know, it is what it is, like, uh, that's just how I feel about it, I'm, I just, I buy those figures, and I like buying those figures because they're cheap, you know, like, I, you know, uh, and once you start paying more for stuff just to get it first, it defeats the purpose, I'd rather put that money into, like, a, an import figure, which I love as well, so it's like, you know what I'm saying, like, when you do love both things and you want to make your channel about both things, you got to be smart, you know, like, you got to be smart about it. It's it's really, really important, you know, like, to, to just be smart about that and how you spend. Not that I should be talking about that. I am not a good spender. I buy things like crazy. It is what it is. And let's see what I bought, shall we? So... This first thing I'm gonna show you is like something small. I got one of these little new Mickeys. That, uh, this is the first time I've seen this. It's a new uh, 90 uh, years Mickey. Like everybody's doing something for this. This is this is Funko's little line. Um, they're doing a bunch of different ones, which is very very cool. Um, this mini little vinyl figure of Mickey. I just wanted this. I'm not gonna go crazy with any of these. I'm, you know, there's a, so many you could get, which is very cool. Uh, the box, you know, the case was full, so I'm guessing this has, this has to be brand new because they're just starting to roll out this 90, 90 years uh, celebration from Mickey Mouse, and that's pretty cool. And definitely, I love Mickey Mouse, you know, like from old school stuff, like, and uh, I really wanted to get this like, really like old school little Mickey. Um, which is cool. I'm gonna open it. Uh, you know, like, Figure Arts, uh, just announced the Figure Arts Zero line, uh, of the Mickey stuff. That's cool, but I'm not gonna get that. If they do a regular articulated Mickey, not like Kingdom Hearts version, I will gladly, let gladly buy that. No doubt. Uh, I would, I would put down the money for that. Um, but for now, this is cool little thing to have and this is a nice box this is a really nice box I really like it nice nice job Funko they really did something different and this is not like Funko Pops it's just oh you know something a different little you know little sub line that they're doing really nice and for like six bucks oh the box is beautiful wow they went like this nice printing on the box Mickey Various ones. That's very nice looking. And then the inside is a nice little plush. Plushy box or whatever this is called. This material. Velvety. How cool is that? Isn't that nice? Little Mickey in there. I'm not going to pull them out because I don't want to, you know, ruin. This is like really nice to display just like this, I think. Box and all. Maybe. Um, but this is excellent. And I'm going to review this. And it might just be the first review I do tonight because... Simple, easy, it's always nice to like, uh, after something huge like that, Voltron, it's good to like, <sighs> breathe um, for a second. Now the other two things, I saw these for the first time last weekend at a comic shop and I thought they were a little too expensive. Um, but when I saw them here and I had them in my hand for a little while, I decided I... I kind of just wanted to check him out. And this is kind of weird because I don't really follow this anime at all. These are the Naruto, uh, Naruto Shippuden, um, yeah, new figures from Toinami. They're like articulated figures. And I almost got a Naruto from McFarlane Toys, uh, you know, through the Color Tops line because I, I do like having, like, even if I don't know the anime well, like, you know, at this point, Naruto is kind of like ingrained in pop culture, and I, you, you kind of want like a little representation of that, even temporarily. I just, I always like this guy too. I got this guy, uh, uh, Kakashi. Kakashi. Uh, 
I gotta I gotta learn how to pronounce his name before a review, but they look cool, and I thought they looked cool when I saw them last week, and they have like, you know, extra hands and heads and stuff. I, I really like the boxes as well. I think Toynami did a nice job. I saw these at Toy Fair for the first time uh, a while back, and nice to see them finally out. And, you know, it looks like Toynami did a nice job. I mean, just the box alone, you know, these were 20 bucks at GameStop, but they were 25 at the comic shop, and I was like, I'm not paying 25 for these. <laughs> they look, they're not like six inch figures, they look smaller, uh, maybe five and a half inch. Um, but there's three figures to the wave, but they didn't have Itachi. And then series two has a bunch of other characters that I don't know. Uh, but even Itachi, I'm kind of like, I don't really know the character. Like, I do know these two characters just from osmosis you know like just from like you know paying attention uh but i honestly i've never seen one episode of this show and i really only got them uh for toyetic reasons like i thought they looked cool and i thought the boxes looked great and i really wanted to check them out i was curious to see what toynami was doing with like this like regular action figure line um as simple as that you know like sometimes you want to check something out and you do Again, like, you know, it's, it's weird because it comes at a time where, like, I really shouldn't, like, stray outside. But they look so cool, and I really like the aesthetic, for, at least through the box. So, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'll review these, and then I'll either put them on eBay, or maybe I'll use them in a giveaway. How about that, you know? So, that's that's it for that. You know, that's my mini haul. That's the only thing that I got in the last week. Uh, I have nothing in route. You know, I'm waiting for a couple things to show up in my HLJ and my BBTS. And I don't know what happened to my Hyperphase Voltron at Entertainment Earth. A lot of people have gotten theirs from other places. BBTS has theirs in stock. So what's up, EE? -E? What happened to my uh, Hyperphase Voltron? <laughs> I want that. It's Legendary Defender one. That was the SDCC one. I don't know. But anywho, that's the stuff I'm kind of waiting for right now. Like, I, again, I'm waiting for a couple things to show up at HLJ. Probably in the next week. Uh, I should have something... A couple things coming to Mteki Sales in the next week, by the end of the month at least. And then, um, as well as, uh, you know, with Soul Link Chu, like, uh, my exclusives guy. Like, I have, you know, still, you know, got a couple things in transit from last month waiting on that you know but he gets like things in bulk um so we cut down our shipping a little bit it's, it's, it's kind of smart <laughs> you know it's pretty good so there you go so i do have stuff upcoming so there will be you know hauls again this wasn't a real haul this was just like hey i picked up a couple things at gamestop today i want to show it i want to talk i just want to talk a little bit i don't know what i talked about at this point but I need to warm up the vocal cords, and uh, it's always good to do a vlog and like little reflect on the uh, Voltron stuff um, because I, I like Voltron. <laughs> right? All right, guys, that's it. That's all I got for this vlog. Thanks for listening to me, and until next time, peace out, peeps.